Lisa Nicole Brennan Jobs is the first child of the technology tycoon Steve Jobs, but she wasn't raised in a rich lifestyle. She and her mother lived off $384 of child support every month. Lisa Nicole Jobs' life is completely different from her young half-sister Eve Jobs. She is not well known as a child of the late Steve Jobs like her half-siblings. So who is Lisa Brennan Jobs? Where is she now? And does she have any right in inheritance of Apple Company? Lisa Nicole Brennan Jobs was born in 1978 to Chris Brennan and Steve Jobs, but her father denied her for years. This led to court battles between Chris Brennan and the late Steve Jobs. Her early childhood and upbringing wasn't known by the public, like that of her other rich men children and that of her three half-siblings. Her two half-sisters, Eve and Erin Jobs, were both equestrians and owns a Christian farm full of horses. This is a usual thing for most billionaires and millionaires' daughters in America. But Lisa didn't get this experience growing up. She didn't get money to buy expensive things or visit nice places like that of her half-siblings. Steve Jobs used to talk more about his young daughter Eve Jobs and showed so much love to her in the public. Steve Jobs once described Eve Jobs as a very real child who could one day become a president of America or manage Apple Inc. herself. But when it comes to his eldest daughter and first child, he said nothing good about her to the public except denying her as his child. So how did her birth come about? And why did a man like Steve Jobs abandon his own child? Keep watching to find out. Steve Jobs met the mother of his illegitimate child in high school. They dated on and off for five years, but later became strong with their relationship after Steve co-founded Apple in 1977. They even moved together in a house with their friend. During this time, Chris and Brennan became pregnant with Lisa, but Steve Jobs refused to cater for her and their unborn child. The young and pregnant Christian Brennan needed to earn a living to support herself, so she moved out of the house to find a job. Christian Brennan worked as a cleaner and waitress to earn a living whilst pregnant. It is not known why Steve Jobs abandoned his pregnant girlfriend. Maybe he was scared because he was very young and didn't have much money. Apple at the time was just found dead. Christian Brennan gave birth alone without Steve Jobs in the delivery room. He did not also visit her and the newborn until his friends persuaded him to do so. He finally visited Chris and Brennan and their daughter three days after she was born, only to deny paternity of the child. But Steve Jobs agreed with Chris and Brennan to name his daughter Lisa. The baby was named after the computer project he was working on, called Apple Lisa. After this, the friends and families on both sides thought Steve Jobs was going to be a father to his daughter. But right after that, Steve Jobs publicly announced that he was not a father of Lisa Brennan and the computer project Apple Lisa wasn't named after her. Chris and Brennan worked several jobs, from cleaning people's houses and serving food to support herself and her child financially. After the baby turned two years old, a lawyer agreed to Chris and Brennan to sue Steve Jobs for child support, but Steve Jobs only came to deny paternity of Lisa again. When DNA test was conducted, Steve Jobs and Lisa matched 94.4%. He was ordered to pay $384 monthly as child support. This money wasn't enough to support her living expenses. After Apple went public, Steve Jobs was worth $200 million. He was a multi-millionaire at the time, but he only increased the child support allowance from $384 to $500 monthly. Her childhood was only filled with attempts to be accepted by her father. This money wasn't enough for Lisa and her mother, so her mother worked several jobs to support herself. Lisa and her mother moved about 13 times before she was 10 years old. Steve Jobs visited once in a month until she was of age and built a natural relationship with her father. 
Lisa Brennan Jobs graduated from Harvard and now a writer after working as a presenter for years. According to sources, Steve Jobs regretted in his last days that he was not a father he should have been during her early childhood. After his death in 2011, Steve Jobs left multi millions of dollars to Lisa Brennan Jobs. For her rights in Apple, she is still a child of the co founder and does have some rights in the company, but it has been managed by someone else ever since his death. Lisa Brennan Jobs was also present in his father's last moment when he regretted and said sorry to her. Lisa is now married with a child and lives a very happy life. Let us know your thoughts about these and thanks for watching.